my GF, 25 female of 4 years, told me 25 male, that she cheated on me. I thought I was okay. A little backstory on the two of us. We were great friends in high school and depended on each other to blow off steam and simply offload our troubles on each other during our senior year. We attended to different institutions, but I ended up transferring to hers, which is when we began dating. We've been living together for three years and get along beautifully. We go on dates on a regular basis, go on vacations together, and depend on each other for help with all of our difficulties. She's been wanting to marry for a year or two, but I've urged her to wait until she graduates from graduate school next year. I dropped out of college and now have a secure career that allows me to support both of us financially. She helps with meals and groceries on occasion, but she mostly works to save money in case we need it in an emergency. My work requires a significant amount of time. I work on call and um, on call at various hours of the day, and I may be gone for a few days at a time, but we always text or phone each other when we're apart. When I'm gone, she'll go out with her pals and have a few drinks. I don't mind since I entirely trusted her. She's never showed signals of infidelity and had a buddy who cheated on one of her previous girlfriends, so she avoided him. She despises cheaters in movies and on television. So, I arrived at work at 11 p.m. on Friday, and she was just getting ready to go out with her buddies. We kissed each other, said our I love yous, and went about our business. I had a wobbly feeling the whole night, so about 3 a.m., I texted her saying I loved her and hoped she had a wonderful night. Obviously, there was no answer, but that is not unusual. When she wakes up in the morning, she generally texts. I left work at 11 a.m. and arrived home about 12 p.m. She drove up just behind me as I was coming in. When she came out, she was dressed in the same clothing she had worn the night before and looked a shambles. She timidly kissed me on the cheek as we headed inside. As soon as I shut the door, she burst into sobbing and clung to my legs for dear life. She said that her buddies met a man at the pub who began buying them shots. According to her, he was stroking her shoulders and paying close attention to her. He spotted her text and her phone, asking her to ignore it and have fun. This irritated me to no extent, but I remained silent and let her recount her story. She said she kissed him, and he took her vehicle back to his house where they had. After what felt like ten minutes of silence, I began putting my work bags away and got ready for a shower. I was emotionally numb, and I had no feelings for her at the time. In my thoughts, I was terrified since my body went into autopilot mode and simply began conducting my typical daily routine. She followed me about like a puppy dog, wanting to know whether I was going to say something. When I asked her whether she loved it, she was stunned and wondered if I really cared about what had occurred. I informed her what difference does it make to me what you do? You're a single lady so do anything you want. I was unfazed when she began weeping and crying uncontrollably. I was finished. I told her I was going to take a shower and that she needed to go when I finished. She attempted to stop me from going to the restroom and urged me to speak to her, but I refused. When I went out, she was gone. I didn't hear from her on Saturday, but I did hear from her mother, who apologized to me. She had informed her mother about all that had transpired, and she had seemingly hung up on her own daughter. She tried phoning me over 20 times on Saturday, but I was still emotionally unavailable. I thought I'd finish this forcefully, utterly over her, yet here I am now, thinking only of her, missing her and yearning for her. I needed to hear her voice, so I phoned her, and we both sobbed on the phone. I want to take her back while knowing I shouldn't. It's just now that it's beginning to chew me apart on the inside and it stinks. I'm not sure what happened to the strong person I used to be, but I'm a mess now. What exactly am I expected to do here? Have you tried talking to her? Can you try rekindling this thing? I've always stated I'd never forgive a cheater, and she's always despised cheaters. I love her every time I think about it, but then I start craving for her. I'm just perplexed right now. Update. This really blew out more than I anticipated. It's been a long work night for me, and when I wake up, I'll look over all of your comments. I also have 224 SMS to read. She refriends her mother, my mother, my brother, and one of my closest friends have been trying to call me all night, believing I've done something bad. They're all aware of my erratic work schedule, so I'm not sure what they were thinking, but I'll try to keep you all updated after I've straightened things out. Story 2. My twin sister, female 60, recently found out that her husband, male 62, of 40 years is cheating on her. Their daughter-in-law, who is married to their eldest son, who is now serving in Germany, has been married to him for about seven years now. 
Instead of having to watch my identical twin sister lie this nightmare, I wish it were some bad plot of a lifetime movie, as my son has compared it to. Because it would be far easier than having to accept that the guy who swept my sister off her feet during our freshman year of college in 1976 has now destroyed their perfect family, as my son has compared it to. Non-stop sadness for my sister and her children, including two nephews and a niece but also for my 30-year-old son, who has looked up to and considered my brother-in-law as a father figure since his own father died unexpectedly when I was pregnant with him while I was still pregnant with him. I was eternally thankful to my brother-in-law for treating my child as if he were one of his own and for being there for him at all times, no matter what. My sister and I have a special bond, and because we were inseparable as children, I have practically lost my appetite and slept little since she told me the news and showed me the text messages she had discovered on her husband's burner phone, which he had mistakenly left at home on Wednesday, and which she had shown me. My sister is upset and unable to function in my niece, their youngest kid, who is scheduled to graduate with a PhD next week and is horrified by the news, has also been affected by the news. To the outside world, my sister and her husband have always seemed to be the quintessential soulmates who are living life to the fullest, and their 40th wedding anniversary dinner celebration in late March only served to confirm this picture in everyone's minds even more. As a result of having to reconcile the man I thought I knew, a loving husband, father, grandfather, and uncle who was a dedicated surgeon and upstanding member of the community, with someone who threw all of that out the window, by cheating not only on the woman who was there from the beginning, but also on the woman who was married to his son, I'm still at a loss for words, a shame, and a disaster in the making. And to make matters worse, when my sister confronted my brother-in-law about the affair, he responded by saying, I don't know, when questioned if he is in love with his son's wife after confessing to having an affair. For the life of me, I can't imagine what it must have been like to hear the person you've been in love with for almost your entire life say that he isn't sure whether he loves another woman with whom he has clearly been sleeping. My brother claims that the affair has been going on for three months, but my sister doesn't believe him, and she hasn't even considered the possibility that either of her husband's grandkids, a boy and a girl, both toddlers, may be his. Personally, I am worried about the potential of this happening in the near future. However, my nephew is also a principled young guy who has always been selfless, and he deserves so much more than to have the person he admires the most in the world inflict destruction on him on a scale that has never been seen before. Obviously, he isn't aware of it yet, but I don't want to entertain the possibility of him finding out in my thoughts for the time being. The amount of money I would give to take away all of my sister's and her children's anguish, knowing that this is something that would affect them for the rest of their lives, is beyond comprehension. I'm a 60-year-old woman who is beyond herself, bouncing between sadness and wrath over my brother-in-law crushing my sister and nephew's hearts into a million pieces and destroying your family, and I needed to vent behind a pseudonym in order to protect my family's identity.